Hello everyone, happy Webtoon Wednesday. I am going to do a review on When the Flowers Bloom. This took me a day to read, power read through it. I, I read a lot over the weekend, so I read it within a day. It is complete at 26 chapters. It's a shoujo drama fantasy historical romance. From birth, Yangtae was destined to die young, Yeon, who is supposed to die at the age of six because she is cursed by a god. Both controlled and kept tucked under the parent's wing, not let out for fear that they will die. One summer day by chance, they meet under the trumpet vine flowers and fall in love at first sight. A love so profound and strong, but it's overshadowed by a dark presence that plans to destroy all their happiness and the life they built together. I really liked reading this one. This, this was a good one. Now, the first couple chapters, the artwork is just kind of like, it's kind of strange because like the faces, like in the first couple chapters, it's just kind of like, like, mm, okay. But then the later on that it goes, the better the artwork goes. So kudos to the artist for like, you can visibly see the improvement in the characters and the drawings, which is like fantastic. But I also really enjoyed the storyline. I really like the fact that they fell in love at first sight and then they were betrothed but they didn't know that they were betrothed to each other and then you know they they find out that it's each other that they're getting married to and they're so happy and in love that they start crying and they're having this beautiful family and all this time in the background is this angry god that is trying to get uh, Yeon, is how I think you pronounce the name, trying to get her to go back to his magical garden because he was in love with her during one of her past lives. And just that over, not, it's not overbearing, but it's like that foreboding sense that something bad is going to happen because he keeps popping up randomly. Now he's not showing up every day, the God isn't. And she's the only one who can see him for a super long time. But he does come in and out of her life or their lives and he's trying to ruin her life and make her miserable, which she, she is, but she's also so incredibly happy with her husband and with her life. And the God is just like, I'm gonna make sure that you are the happiest you can be. And then I'm gonna just rip it all away. And I'm kind of getting a little emotional right now because it was just, it's, it's so good. And you're so invested in the characters by the end of it that it's just so heartbreaking. And it's just so devastatingly sad and I'm gonna have to put like a spoiler alert somewhere in the video before this point, but like, it was just, to me, I really enjoyed the fact that in the final like chapter or two, you get a lot of, not a lot, but you get answers to some of your questions. You do have this, you feel fulfilled to an extent because it kind of dabbles in soulmates and that even though that life is over another life in the future has begun where you know we can meet again and be together and you know be happy again and it was just oh my gosh it was just so sweet and I really thought it was a good balance of the happy the sad a glimmer of hope and more sad and then back to like a glimmer of hope again and it was just it it was it was well done that's that's all i can say is that it was a really well done webtoon i really enjoyed reading it i would highly recommend it you know just be ready have some tissue paper or something ready to dab your eyes because you're probably going to cry. I cried. I cried during the last couple chapters, but it was, it was worth it and it was good. Now, 
I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys later. Bye everyone.